Shocker. John here, guys, and today I've got myself the Shocker Light four inch edition. Well, John, didn't you already have the Shocker Light on the channel? Yes, I did. If you all remember, I actually helped in the development of this product, um, basically telling Catalyst Machine Works I wanted a Catalyst version of that Dave C mini long range five inch formula, and they made one, but they also made a four inch. And I didn't actually build one up, even though they sent me some of the arms for that. And on Bardwell's channel, he said he liked the four inch better. So I'm like, okay, maybe I need to look into this and figure out what's going on. Um, so is it worth throwing basically all of the same exact components onto a four inch build and using it with four inch props? Because you really only save a tiny bit of weight here. In fact, this is really almost the exact same weight as my five inch was it's about 195 grams. The other reason I built this up was because Diatone sent me these new Mamba 2004 motors. They are a really nice 2900 kV, which gives you some exceptionally juicy power on this. Diatone is just on a mad tear with these new motor designs. Look at the bell design of this. It is magnificent. So the question is four inch or five inch if you're building up one of these. And prior to flying this, I would have said for basically the same weight, you're going to use all the same components. Why not just take a little bit more disc area, get yourself a little bit more thrust, a little bit more prop. And I'm telling you now, there is a place for both of these. And I, you know, it's like this actually flies a lot different than that five inch um, because by having basically the same size motors of 2004 um, here's the best way I can summarize this I feel like the four inch size prop with this size motor is a little bit more balanced to what we typically fly in five inch and what I mean by that is the instantaneous response when you get on this the ability to have top end and the ability to have flying control, the matching of the prop to the motor to the weight is really just such an interesting combination that you really have to find. And it's like, okay, is the five inch under propped? Is it over propped? It really depends on what size motor and KV you go with, but if you can get them matched, to have more of a consistent feel to match your five inch, then your muscle memory applies better. So is this more powerful? On the low end, it's a little bit more responsive because it can spin these four inch props a little bit better. On the high end, it's maybe not quite as juicy or punchy if you're really punching on it, but it still has plenty enough. You see, the thing that's weird about some of these ultralights, and you really started feeling this a couple years ago when we started flying toothpicks, was that you had a thrust to weight ratio that was so crazy that it felt like a video game. It didn't feel like a five inch anymore. And you would start to get some characteristics that were floaty. So at this type of weight with the 1050 milliamp 4S, which is what I like for this formula, um, the five inch can blow around a little bit more because you have a little bit more um, disc area on those props. So if you really were gonna fly proximity, I could see how you might wanna go with this four inch. Now, is this a substitute for the Flywoo Micro Long Range? And I'm gonna have to say, it's not a Flywoo Explorer. This weighs 30, 35 grams more. And so it's gonna be that much more difficult for you to get under that 250 gram limit. This is not, this is closer to 300 grams with a 1050 if you used a lighter pack. And also this does not have a GPS or a beeper. But if I had to pick which one I was gonna fly, if I was gonna go fly for fun, 
you better believe it's gonna be this <laughs> with the tribe blade props it is an insane amount of power and juice and you know what else i like about this formula is because there's a little bit power to spare this is going to be a perfect candidate for that new insta 360 go 2 that is about to be launched in less than a week in fact it's probably going to be out by the time this video comes out so i'm going to be making a mount for the shocker to mount that camera it's going to be the first one i fly on here with this so stay tuned for that um, before we close it out let's just round out the build here i'm using the j himku 20 by 20 all in one 35 amp this can go up to 6s. I mounted the capacitor in there. It's the big one. So this is like more than enough headroom. This could do 6s 5 inch. So for 4 inch on 4s, I mean, this is just even overkill, but it's so cheap. I love using this board. I'll have a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Of course, the Vista and my Crossfire. I have really started to enjoy the 3D printed mounting solution for this Vista. It works so good at the end of here um yes so where does this fall it's half the weight of a five inch here's the full size shocker tank you see the difference in size here this thing weighs closer to 400 grams this is less than 200 so if you already have this in five inch maybe you want to do a four inch you know this is the ultimate freestyle basher it disappears the weight of that gopro hero 9 with these 2000 with these 2208 size motors on here but if i wanted to either have no action camera or a very light action camera that insta 360 go is really going to solve a lot of the problems that we had um so i'm really looking forward to it but just if i wanted to go out for a juicy flight somewhere and here's a little clip i'm going to show at the end of me flying around this little bridge you know a five inch like that with the GoPro is so much heavier. It's so much louder. If you're somewhere where people are gonna walk and you wanna kind of fly when they're not around, but they could be around the corner, you don't wanna disturb people. Having the reduced noise on a build like this is really nice. Now it's not as quiet as the Flywoo Explorer, I will say that, but the extra juicy power that you get with this thing I mean, we got almost three years till we got to get into that 250 gram limit. So until then, this is heading in the right direction. I think components are going to continue to get lighter. If we ever do get a lighter and smaller Vista unit, there's other places where you could start to strip weight on there. If we end up getting better batteries down the road, that could also do it too. What do you think in the comments, guys? Have you built one of these up? Have you tried these new Mamba motors? These Toka motors? My goodness, these Toka motors are just really, really good. And I have to say, I like the thickness of this bell a lot better than the Brother Hobby version. The Brother Hobby has been the standard on these, but this, I don't know. If you had the choice, I think I'm picking this one. Thanks, guys.